Good morning, Lincoln Academy. Please stand for the pledge. Good morning, Lincoln Academy. I'm Darby, and this is Abby with a few announcements. Good morning, Lincoln Academy. Today is April 21st, uh, 2023. Today is also Hat Day, so if you brought a hat, great job for showing your school spirit. Tonight is the K-4 Art Show from 5 to 7, so make sure to come see some really cool art. Thursday the 27th is a 5th, 6th pep rally, so if you're a 5th or 6th grader, we hope that you have a lot of fun. Um, Spirit Week starts on Monday for pre-K through 6th grade only. Monday's theme is Sports Team Day, so wear your favorite team's jersey or hat. Now to Darby with your words of wisdom. And now, but first, Joke of the Week. Now for the Joke of the Week. Ha ha. You want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Alright, let's see here. This is from Zena in first grade Miss Helms class. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because it was going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. This joke is from Jacqueline in second grade Miss Kunis class. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? I don't know. What did he say? Breathe, silly. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Okay. This is from Wyatt in kindergarten, Miss Cohen's class. Why did the football coach go to the bank? Why? To get his quarterback. <laughs> oh, that's a good that's one. That's funny. All right, our last joke is from Miss Ignacio. What do you get if you have an angry cow and an angry sheep? I don't know. Two farm animals in a bad mood. Oh, my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Now I'm Darby with your words of wisdom. Good morning, Lincoln Academy. I'm Darby with a few words of wisdom. Former President George H.W. Bush spent his summers as a child on the coast of Maine. Listen to the story about one of his childhood experiences. My brother and I still remember the thrill of our first sea adventure. That was the first time out by ourselves. A storm blew up. It was sudden. We were knocked around a little. We were scared, but we brought the boat home. The family was on the dock and everyone looked worried, but grandfather said he knew we could do it. That gave me the confidence that lasted my, all my life. Developing confidence is important. Every time you overcome an obstacle, you gain a little more confidence. So don't shy away from the, cha from the challenges of your life. Oh, and one more thing. Remember how President Bush's grandfather said, I knew you could do it? The power of just one single vote of confidence can go a long way. Today, give someone that vote of confidence. It could last that person a lifetime. With something to think about, this is Darby. Make it a great day. The choice is yours. I'm Abby. I'm Darby. Bye! Bye.